Hello everybody, this is Your Life My Hands, and today I'm going to be making some grits. And uh, this this isn't anything um, super special, this isn't anything that most people don't know how to make. I mean, there's instructions right on the container. Uh, but today we're going to be making grits, and we're going to be making them better than uh, the instructions will tell you, which is what cooking should be anyways. Um, here are some of the ingredients we're going to be using. I will be going over these and I will be talking about um, some of the differences. Uh, the main thing is that grits always say just, you know, like one cup of grits to four cups of water. Um, that's the ratio. Do your own math on however many grits you want. Uh, but you need to substitute, in my opinion, some half and half. And that's going to give you an incredibly different grits than what you're going to get just doing whatever that thing says. Um, if I go to a restaurant and order grits, I can you can just immediately tell if they made them the right way or if they just made them with water. If they're made with water, they're going to suck. I mean, you know, grits are grits. They're nothing super fancy. You've got to make them better. And today, I'm going to be making what <laughs> we were told as children is called Georgia ice cream. Uh, so come along, I'll show you what we do. And I'm also going to be experimenting. I've never done this and it just dawned on me. Uh, I'm going to be using a rice cooker, uh, to do this because I've literally never done that. I don't know why I've always used a pot and pan and that works out just fine too. But I saw this and I was like, I think I can make that work. I don't know how I don't, I mean, like I looked it up and apparently it works. Um, I just don't know why it never dawned on me that you could do that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, come on, let's see how, let's see what we can make. So got everything ready. Um, I am using, I'm going to go the full size. That is way too many grits, but you know, just to make things easier. And for experimentation's sake, I decided to try it. One cup of grits. And here's what I did for ratios and do your own math on however, if you're trying to make one serving, it's going to be very different. Um, I um, use three cups of water and one cup of half and half. Uh, if you want to make these to the next level, I wish I could. I don't have any right now. Ooh, actually, I do have something. Uh, you should use chicken stock in this. Uh, a very, very good chicken stock. A chicken bone broth would be even better. That's going to send these things right over the edge. However, what I do have... Let me look up here. Mm -hmm. I can use a chicken bouillon cube and cheat. It's probably not going to be as good as I'm thinking, and I may just not even do that. But you could, you could technically throw a chicken bouillon cube in there. Uh, that'll take your grits probably to the next level. Um, for seasonings, I used a little bit of garlic powder and I also used some minced onion uh, and a big old dab of butter. Um, use as much or as little as you want. Butter is going to make the grits. So I used a nice big slice of my Kerrygold, uh, salted it a little bit. I don't ever give amounts and quantities out because you must measure garlic powder with the heart. Uh, that's all there is to it. Um, minced onion, because I want these to rehydrate. Um, I'm not going to cut up, cut up my own onion because I don't feel like it. Uh, yeah, that's some of the things you can do. I mean, you can make these spicy, you can make them savory, you could put curry powder in there if you want. I, it doesn't matter to me. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get started on the next ingredients and we'll see how that turns so out. So the grits are cooking up. Um, they are finally heated up a little bit and I actually don't know how long this is going to take because I've never done it this way. So um, we're, we're just going to go until they're done, I suppose. So as I mentioned, I am going to be making um, Georgia ice cream is what we, <laughs> we called it when we were younger. Um, at least that's what mom and dad would call it when they were joking and they'd make it. We just thought it was the funniest things as kids. So thanks mom and dad. I'm making, now making a video about it. We're gonna let those go. But what makes Georgia ice cream, Georgia ice cream? And that would be these. So a couple different ways you can do this. Um, the way my mom used to make them was, is that she would scramble eggs and just toss them in the grits. Um, I like that. That's very good. I also like the creaminess that um, egg yolk will bring and the flavor. I love egg yolk. So <laughs> this can be a this can be a difficult recipe for some people because one, a lot of people don't like grits because of textural issues, um, and a lot of people don't like uh, like fried eggs. So I lightly fried these. Like you can see here, Thank you. it's still very cool to the touch, but the egg whites are mostly cooked. And that's pretty much exactly what we're going for. 
Um, I want the egg whites to be cooked a little bit, the yolks to practically not be cooked at all. And the grits are going to be hot when they're done. And we're gonna to toss everything into the mix, mix it up really well, and those will finish cooking and solidify, do whatever they need to do. So don't worry about it not like being safe. Uh, I've also grown to like throwing some protein in there beyond the eggs. And I got some Tennessee Pride little sausage patties. And of course, any anyone who likes grits will most likely know you must have cheddar for them. So once these guys are done, we're gonna throw it all in there, get it mixed up, salt and pepper to taste, and we're gonna see how this turns out. So the grits are pretty much done. Um, they're still bubbling a little bit. I end up turning the rice cooker to warm, and I'm just gonna let them sit. So if you're buying grits, never cooked with them before, uh, maybe you're from New England, and grits are just not something that you've ever seen. Well, um, you're in luck as you're watching my video. Um, this took probably about 20 to 25 minutes, but it was kind of nice because you could just kind of forget about it. Um, I would suggest, unlike rice, stir it every once in a while because grits will bunch up into a ball if they cook and, you're, and you don't keep them moving just a little bit. So I mean like maybe every five minutes, just come over here and stir it around a little bit. Um, these are just wrapping up and with old fashioned grits, you have a couple different ones. It's kind of like oatmeal. You have five minute oatmeal. You have traditional old style oatmeal. Get the old fashioned grits. Um, in my opinion, they're gonna cook up slower, but they make a much, much better dish. I don't know why. I think that they're texturally a little bit better. So go ahead and get that. Um, let's go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients while it's still nice and hot in there. And there's no science to this. Very little science to any of my cooking. Just, I'm watching. There it goes. Just roll it right in there. Um, we're gonna stab that down in there. And you really just wanna, sorry, I'm looking at my hand, not the camera. You really just wanna um, break up the eggs. That's all it is. And as you can see, the egg yolks are already starting to break up and they give it a nice color. They give it a really, really wonderful flavor. This is where I think grits go to the next level if you toss in eggs. And I'm sure if you wanted to get creative, you could just like add in egg yolks to something like this like if you didn't want to throw entire eggs in there to get the richness and the color and the flavors. Um, I, however, am not going to do that. I like, I love eggs. You also know, apparently I'm financially set because um, uh, <laughs> I cooked three eggs and I actually have eggs. It's absolutely ridiculous, the price of food. Like I just, I don't eat a whole lot. So this is actually an absurd amount of grits right now. Um, I, I should not have done that, but I don't eat a whole lot generally. So I don't have to worry so much about eggs. I can just like buy an 18 pack and that'll last for a very long time. But at one point I was eating like six eggs a day or five, three, three to three to six eggs a day. It was just a daily occurrence to eat eggs. I would be financially ruined right now if I tried to do that. So uh, hang on. I'm doing this one handed because I'm holding the phone. This is, this is how disasters happen, folks. I, I, don't, I don't think I could do it. I, I think it's too challenging for me. I made to put the phone down. No, hang on. Hang on. Thank you. Yeah, I have to set the phone down. Okay. Whoop, there you go. Hey, have a look at my sink. Isn't that cool? That's a sink. Um, anyways, uh, with this cheddar cheese, no measuring. You measure cheese with the heart. And I love a good pile of cheesy grits. So that's where that's going. These will definitely need some salt. I could tell you that. So that was, a, that, was a, that was a lot of cheese, but this is also a lot of grits. So we're gonna mix that all up and we're just gonna kind of let everything set in there. Um, now is a good time to add salt, pepper, anything like that, whatever you like to taste. I love pepper. So I'm gonna add a whole bunch and these definitely a good amount of salt. I will say all these flavors in here are really good. But grits by themselves without salt on them are very, very bland. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and add a bunch of salt to whatever you like. It will really help all these flavors kind of pop in there. So these things went from just plain white grits to a very dark colored ones. You can't even see the egg chunks in there, which is fine. You'll actually be you know, biting into those a little later uh, if you cook this. But that's pretty much it, man. Um, so I'm gonna salt pepper this and uh, I'm gonna enjoy a little bowl of that and I will definitely, definitely have to freeze quite a few of these because I made, just imagine like whatever water you add to this, that's how many grits you're gonna get. So go ahead and just like look at four cups of water and be like, do I actually want four, four and a half cups of grits? Probably not. Do your own math on what you want. 
Uh, that's how you make Georgia ice cream, and I love this stuff. Uh, if you don't like grits, I understand a lot of people didn't. Texturally, they're kind of weird, maybe. Think of oatmeal, but not oatmeal. Uh, along that line. <laughs> I will say, uh, if, they do, if you don't like grits, you are not to be trusted. Um, some of the worst experiences and traumas in my life came from women who did not like grits. So, free life advice right there. You got that for free on this day. Enjoy it. Anyways, y'all be good and uh, have an awesome rest of your week. And I will talk to you all later.